Independent scene, Michelle speaking. Uh, no, I'm sorry, we're completely booked. We have a wedding party here. Uh, no, there is really nothing I can do. Yes, I'm sure. A positive. No, I don't have to look, ma'am. Yes, of course I'll look. No, I'm sorry, we're completely booked. Oh, no, don't move. Just ignore the tiny woman pushing the 200-pound instrument around. Oh, this is good. I like this. Maybe after this, I'll bench uh, press a piano, hmm? Oh, that's it, lady. Tie your shoe now. Yeah, don't, don't worry. I'll wait. Hi, Drella. Hi. I was just wondering, um, could you be uh, nicer to the guests? Well, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Did you not want a harp player? Yes, I did. Uh, did you not want a great harp player? <sighs> yes, I did. OK. I am a great harp player, and this is my great harp. Okay, so if you're looking for someone to just be nice to the guests, get a harmonica player, maybe some guy who whistles through his nose. Okay, capiche? Right. Well, and that is a great spot for a table. Decorator's a genius. Madame, you have no idea how desperately I'd like to help, but see, I'd have to build a room for you myself, and I'm not a man who works with his hands. So the best I can do is suggest that you please, please try for another weekend, any weekend. Ah, good, fine. The 21st. Hold on, I look. Uh, no, I'm sorry, we're completely booked. The... Has the plumber attended to room four yet? He was here, he did nothing. It's a hundred dollars. <sighs> Hi, Marco, Lorelei. Talk to me about room four. What was wrong with it? Uh huh. I thought you replaced that already. Well, because you told me you did, and I never forget anything. So this one's on you, right? Pleasure doing business with you. What is your offspring doing? I need stamps. Can I have these? No. Take them. What's with the moo moo? Stop. No, I'm just saying you couldn't find one made of metal in case anyone has x-ray eyes. And now we say goodbye. Hmm. Ooh, hey, have Michelle look at your French paper before you go. Excuse me. That'd be great. No. Come on, Michelle. I'll tell all the ladies what a stud you are. Hmm. I believe that memo has already been sent. Oh, please, Michel. Pretty please, with sucre on top, I will stop talking like this. Leave it. I'll look at it if I get a chance. It's due tomorrow. And pay special attention to the grammar. I despise you. <laughs> when are you going to let your parents know that you listen to the evil rock music? You're an American teenager, for God's sake. Rory, if my parents still get upset over the obscene portion size of American food, I seriously doubt I'm going to make any inroads with M&M. I have to go to that. The hayride? You're kidding. My parents set me up with the son of a business associate. He's going to be a doctor. How old is he? 16. So he's going to be a doctor in 100 years. Well, my parents like to plan ahead. <laughs> How, do you have to go to the hayride with him? And his older brother. Oh, now you're kidding. Koreans never joke about future doctors. So, I guess you're not going home. No. I'm still fuzzy on what's fun about sitting in the cold for two hours with a bundle of sticks up your butt. Don't expect me to clear it up for you. For those of you who have not finished the final chapters of Huckleberry Finn, you may use this time to do so. For those of you who have, you can start on your essay now. Whichever task you choose, do it silently. Nice, huh? Beautiful. 